Live look right now, then at Cape Canaveral, you can see Artemis 1 on the launch pad, where it has been on and off for weeks now after technical issues and then a hurricane derailed those first few attempts. The test flight will boost an unpiloted Orion crew capsule around the moon and back, and it's setting the stage for something even bigger in the future. 10 Tampa Bay's Chris Rogers explains. Charlie Blackwell Thompson just called uh, a scrub for the launch attempt today. NASA is hoping third time's a charm when it comes to the launch of moon rocket Artemis 1. We're not going to launch until it's right. As it stands, the launch is on track to go ahead as planned Wednesday morning. Right now, there's, there's nothing preventing us uh, from getting to the 16th. NASA's attempt at a moonshot has been scrapped twice so far, once on August 29th and the other on September 3rd, both for fuel leaks and other technical problems. And it's not just a big deal for science, it's a tourist draw as well. An estimated 50 to 100,000 people are expected to show up to watch that launch in person. This is my wheelhouse. This is great stuff. All hands on deck. The historic mission is the first test of NASA's SLS rocket, which will send a capsule called Orion toward the moon. Orion will then fly within 60 miles of the lunar surface, then push 40,000 miles further for a view back to Earth. No astronauts will be on board, but they're hoping this is the first step in making that a reality the next time. We gotta have a successful flight before we put the astronauts on the next mission. Otherwise, you're not putting astronauts on the next mission. Chris Rogers, 10 Tampa Bay. The rocket is set to take off during a two-hour window that starts just after 1 a.m.